So today marks a week since that multi-story building being built in George collapsed. 29 people have been rescued so far, including a man who was pulled out on Saturday after spending 116 hours trapped under the rubble. Now, some of the workers involved in this come from Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe. And South Africa has been talking to those countries to discuss. We're now joined by the Deputy Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. Alvin Buertas. Deputy Minister, thank you. Can you tell us what we know right now about the workers and where they were from? Well, uh, Francis, thank you very much. Um, obviously, a week after the actual disaster, uh, we have uh, just received terrible news uh, whilst visiting the site uh, that uh, four additional uh, uh, bodies has been uh, uh, recovered, uh, bringing the death toll from 26 to uh, 30. Um, we have been engaging the uh, mission representatives from uh, Malawi, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe, as um, the uh, contractor have given an indication um, that uh, those three national nationalities was uh, obviously. Uh, uh, identified as workers. We have been rolling out the consular uh, services from the Department of International uh, Relations and Cooperation. Um, obviously, Francis, the key method that concerns us is the actual repatriation process back to the countries uh, of the origin. And that uh, remains a, a key method that requires uh, evidently a public support and, and we want to make this call that uh, uh, for private persons, uh, uh, private companies uh, to actually rally material and financial